solving equations. First, let's work on rewriting equations. So we need to solve for y. Now, in these four examples, you're not going to get a number answer for y. So we just need to find the expression that represents the variable y. In this first example, let's walk through it together. So first, we need to find our variable y. That's the one we want to isolate. So we want this to be by itself on this side of the equation. So we need to get rid of this 2 and this plus 3. So first, we want to subtract 3 from both sides. And then we're going to subtract it from the 7 because these are like terms. You can't subtract it from this because this 3 doesn't have an x. So the positive 3 negative 3 cancel out. On the left side, we're going to bring that negative 3x down. Positive 7 minus 3 is positive 4. And then we have 2y. Now, our last step to isolate the variable is to divide by 2 so that those 2's cancel out. Now, on the left side, we could put the whole left side over 2, but that's just going to give us a big fraction. So instead of doing that, let's divide each term by 2. Then, we have negative 3 divided by 2, which doesn't simplify anymore, so we're just going to write it as negative 3 over 2 times x, positive 4 divided by 2 is positive 2 and that's going to equal y and that's your final answer so again your goal here is to isolate the variable y and you want to have all the other terms on the other side in simplest form so go ahead and pause I want you to work out example 2, 3, and 4 on your own solve for y and then when you're finished, you can check back with me, press play, and see if you got the right answer. For example two, hopefully you got y equals 2x minus 5 halves. Now remember, you could have your equation flipped around from mine. It could say 2x minus 5 halves equals y, or negative 5 halves plus 2x equals y, or you could have y equals 2x, or sorry, y equals negative 5 halves plus 2x. As long as each term is correct and the correct terms are on the correct side of the equation, then it's fine. For example, 3, y equals 7 thirds x minus 8 thirds. And then for example, 4, negative 5 fourths x minus 5 halves equals y. Hopefully you got your answers right. If you didn't, Remember to pause, check your work with mine, and see where you might have made a mistake. We're going to take that step one further into rewriting formulas. So here, you're going to be given a formula, and the formula doesn't necessarily have x's and y's in there. So this time, in the directions, it tells you exactly which variable to solve for. So we'll work through the first one together says the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is p equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Solve for w. So I just want to start off with that formula. p equals 2l plus 2w. And then we want to isolate the variable w. So first I'm going to subtract the 2l from both sides. and then we get p minus 2l equals 2w. And then to isolate w, the last thing we need to do is divide by 2. I'm going to finish up over here because I've run out of space. But p divided by 2, we can rewrite that as 1 half p minus 2 divided by 2 is 1l so I'm not going to write the 1, equals w. So here is that same formula for the perimeter of a rectangle, just rewritten, solved for w. Go ahead and pause, try this next example, and then after you solve for p, you're going to need to substitute in certain values to solve for p. So go ahead and try it, and then check back with me when you've finished. So 
So hopefully when you solve the equation for p, you got a final answer of a divided by 2 pi w equals p. And then when you take your value for a and w and substitute those in, there are two ways you could have expressed your answer. I'm sure you remember from geometry needing to leave your answer in terms of pi. So if you leave your answer in terms of pi, you have an exact answer of 11 over 2 pi centimeters. If you put this into your calculator and you approximate it, you should get 1.75 centimeters for P. Hopefully you got the right answer. If you didn't, pause, check your work with mine, and see where you may, might have made a mistake. If you had any questions,